so in this quick tutorial I'm going to run through the use of the split tool to make a jigsaw so to begin with I've drawn a block of material the size of the jigsaw that this um, the size of the board that this jigsaw will be cut from and if I now go to open up a sketch of say a line I can go to tools sketch tools sketch picture and I've saved this image of a jigsaw from the internet so double click it and it's really big so it'll come in um, scaled terribly now if you wanted you could just drag it and resize it like this but I might as well show you this new tool this um, it's called a scale tool actually I can drag the image around the scale tool will stay fixed to it but um, and uh, indeed, if I resize the image you can see on the left hand side of the screen the height in pixels and or millimeters of the image will change but if you want the entire thing to say be 200 millimeters from left to right you can drag this pink point and leave it to the left of the image drag this pink arrow and leave it to the right of the image and just as you let go a, a modify box will pop up so if I now type in 200 the image will be 200 in width now as it happens I don't want that I want to scale it to fit so if I try now to resize it it won't let me so I will deselect enable scale tool and I will drag it to the bottom left corner and I also don't want to maintain the aspect ratio so I will deselect lock aspect ratio so at this point if I wanted I can now draw over using my spline tool each uh, line in question I did this earlier it took about 10 or 12 minutes to do it but if it's important enough it's worth spending a few uh, minutes to get it done so to speed this up I have that done already uh, there is the sketch and I've made it visible so what I'm going to do is go simply go to insert features split if you haven't already selected it it will prompt you to select the trim tool which in this case is this sketch then simply go cut part you now have to verify each of the parts that you want to um, split up so click each of those in turn and when you're happy press the green tick and an error will um, kick in you can see everything disappeared um, I want the sketch to disappear but all the bodies have disappeared they've actually been consumed this only seems to have happened in SOLIDWORKS 2015 onwards so if I edit that feature it's a simple tick the box fix deselect consume cut bodies obviously you don't want them to be consumed you want them to stay there so just like you have multiple multiple parts in an assembly here you have multiple bodies in the part so if you see the solid bodies folder up here on the left it's got 16 beside it there are 16 bodies each of those can be manipulated and hidden and worked with as you uh, see fit individually also you can get over here and you can add on a material appearance not to the part not to the feature but to that body and if I was to make a change to that initial sketch for instance this one's a little misshapen so I will fix that that will filter back and apply to both pieces both this green piece and the gray piece beside it so you can also do something like this you can go insert features move copy and you can simply drag this piece and put it wherever you want it and it will look like that now I don't want that as it happens uh, so this is a very good tool to use when two components need to intersect and have a, a perfect merge or a, a zero tolerance mate between each other but this is no good to you because uh, this is not an assembly and um, something like say for instance the DCG uh, assignment requires parts and an assembly so if you wanted to split all 16 of these back out into parts you can do that now I've already saved this so I'll just double check it save it again <clears throat> I've saved this as jigsaw but this will not work unless you have saved the part so save the part then go to insert features um, save bodies then simply click all the bodies you wish to save and again I'm going to deselect consume cut bodies and press the green tick and it's going to work behind the scenes here what it's doing is saving each of those bodies out as a part now it's not actually going to save them I had saved this jigsaw part to my desktop and you can see um, I, it, it did save them sometimes it takes about two or three um, seconds or a bit longer to save them and in, in my older version uh, of the software SolidWorks 2014 
these did not actually save until I actually saved the assembly. So if you have an older version of the software, you might find those parts will not be saved until you get up here and press the save icon. But sure enough, every one of those files will now be a jigsaw piece. And you can mate with those and work with those as you see fit. This arrow beside stock jigsaw one, that little arrow at the end shows that there's a link. So if I was to now go back and change this master template, this master piece, uh, that would filter through into the other part as well. So that's the split tool, and it's quite a very, um, it's a very useful tool, as I.